Hey guys, right before I get into this video, I want to tell you guys about the huge $200 giveaway I'm doing to kick off the start of my second channel, PA Media. There's three things that you have to do to enter. First, you have to subscribe to both of my channels and turn on notifications. Then go ahead and like this video. And lastly, click the first link in the description down below to enter this giveaway. There's several entries and you can also come back every day for daily bonus entries. So yeah guys, this giveaway ends on July 1st. Make sure you guys enter and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Past Amazing and today we're going to be talking about five things that almost made it into Clash of Clans. A lot of these are going to be troops that Supercell was actually testing and they decided to not put it in the game for whatever reason. There's various reasons. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get right into these five things. But before we do, make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also turn on my post notifications for all my latest uploads. I keep you guys updated with the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. Alright guys, starting off with number one, the Ice Golem. So believe it or not, Supercell was actually considering adding the Ice Golem to Clash of Clans. If you guys don't know what the Ice Golem is, it's a card from Clash Royale, and basically it's like a mini golem, except when it dies, it actually like puts out shards of ice that slows down everything around it. Uh, so I imagine in Clash of Clans, it could probably be like a slow all the defenses around it or something like that. And Darian, who's a Supercell community manager, actually confirmed that yes, Supercell was testing the Ice Golem. They eventually decided not to add it to the game, at least for now. Maybe we'll see it in the future since Supercell is already, you know, testing it and coding it up and all that. Um, but at least for this update, they decided to go with the Electro Dragon, which is the troop that we ended up getting in the Town 12 update. Maybe we'll see the Ice Golem somewhere down the road, but it is pretty cool to think about an Ice Golem in Clash of Clans. Alright, moving on to number two, the Rocketeer. This is another troop concept that Supercell was legitimately testing. This one was a couple years back in like February or March of 2016. This was right before the Bowler and the Miner came out. And basically people were speculating what the new troop would be. And someone apparently like went into the Supercell game files or something like that. They took out these images of the Rocketeer. Like literally I have images of it. And this one guy even did some coding or something like that to reverse engineer the Rocketeer into his own. Own private server and actually like play around with it and this was huge news everyone thought oh the Rocketeer is definitely confirmed at this point you know there's footage there's stats of the troop there's high quality images and so much more but it ended up not even coming into the game instead Supercell released the Miner and they released the Bowler that update and even after that people were saying oh the Rocketeer is probably the next troop that's going to come but guess what no the Electro Dragon was the next troop so we haven't seen the Rocketeer come, so maybe it's a scrapped idea, maybe it wasn't working out. Or perhaps Supercell saw that the community already leaked the Rocketeer. They didn't want to encourage more leakers by actually releasing the troop that people like knew was going to come based on the leaks. So they probably like avoided that altogether and just released another troop that they were working on, like the Bowler. But yeah, I still remember back in the day when I was watching other people's Clash of Clans videos, I was like, oh wow, this Rocketeer looks so cool. And I couldn't wait for it to come, but it just never did. Alright, moving on to number three on this list, the Ice Wizard. Now, yes, the Ice Wizard did come into the game, but only temporarily and only during the Christmas, holiday, winter season, right? And then after that, Supercell removed the troop. However, I have read on the forums that, like, Supercell has apparently been considering permanently adding the Ice Wizard to the game. They didn't end up doing this, obviously, but they were in discussion about this because the Ice Wizard is a permanent troop in Clash Royale. And in Clash of Clans, the Ice Wizard was definitely one of the most popular limited edition troops. You know, we had the giant skeleton, the pumpkin barbarian, and all this other stuff that no one really liked as much as the ice wizard. Like, I actually used the ice wizard. I didn't really use the pumpkin barbarian because it was much worse. All right, let's move right into number four on this list. This one is not going to be a troop. Basically, when Supercell first announced the friendly challenges back two years ago, there was no 24-hour cooldown, right? And they didn't intend on adding any cooldown at all. Their outrage from the community was so great that Supercell eventually gave in and actually added this 24-hour cooldown. Players were concerned that friendly challenges would just be an easy way to cheat in wars. You'd just be able to copy the other people's bases, you know, maybe 
maybe guess a few traps here or there or have a scout find out all the traps on that base you can just practice on that base unlimited times with your clan mates and this was especially bad because this was the time when supercell was cracking down on the modders and the cheaters in the game and then suddenly they introduced this friendly challenge feature which at the time would basically be endorsed cheating by supercell and players just were not having it i still remember the entire like front two pages of the forums just being complaints about the friendly challenges no one wanted this form of cheating in the game so after a couple days before supercell even released their friendly challenges they actually changed it so that there is a 24 hour cooldown and then players were relieved you know this would not be any form of cheating and of course we're still here today nowadays there's actually a push to get rid of the cooldown altogether because it's so annoying when you accidentally move a wall in your village or something and suddenly you can't even practice on that base for 24 hours so there is a push to actually get rid of it now but absolutely way more people support keeping that cooldown in place because no one wants cheating in wars so yeah this is a great example of how supercell actually listened to us as players i mean they literally came up with this friendly challenge idea put it forward like we are not going to have a cooldown and then the players were like no that we're not having that and Supercell actually gave in to us and listened to our feedback and changed their own thought process or whatever to fit in that 24 hour cooldown. All right guys, let's move on to the last thing on this list, number five. Last year, someone leaked what was apparently the Chinese New Year loading screen for Clash of Clans. I actually made a video on this, I believe in September, which is when it happened, and it looked super legit, like definitely something Supercell would do. I'll actually show you guys the image right now. But yeah, it was like so real, I actually thought, wow, like, Supercell making this graphic six months before Chinese New Year. I was actually like pretty surprised. And then Chinese New Year came around. Supercell did have a special loading screen for Chinese New Year, but to my surprise, it was not the one that was leaked six months earlier. It was this completely different one. So I don't know what's happening with this leaked loading screen. I mean, I definitely don't think it's a fake. There's no way someone would be able to do this. And also it's in Japanese too. Like how would anyone go through all this time to do this? Like there's no way. So my guess is probably Supercell was experimenting with this loading screen and maybe they hid it in the game file somewhere and then they removed it because they didn't like it and replaced that with the one that they actually used for Chinese New Year. All right, so before I end this video, let's go ahead and take a look at our village right now. So I have been doing a great job with farming these past couple weeks. And as you can see, I've got like a ton of walls done here already. And basically, I'm spending my gold all on walls. And I'm spending my elixir on stuff like the army camps and lab upgrades. Dark elixir has been going to both the heroes and the lab. I actually got my hounds finishing in just one hour, so that's pretty exciting. But anyways, guys, I wanted to show you guys this really crazy glitch that happened in our last war. So it was actually my attack, and this is just so weird. Like, it practically messed up my entire attack. Uh, so it was my second attack here, number one. As you can see, I only got a 71% on this guy, mainly because of this glitch. It was actually with the Siege Machine, which is a pretty significant part of my attack. So, you know, it starts off with a normal attack, right? I dropped my two golems. I draw my witches on the sides. This is basically a bow witch attack here. I'm sort of funneling my troops in slowly. Draw my heroes. Look at that. What is that right there? Why is my siege machine stuck? Like, what is going on? You know, now my troops are not going to be going into the base. And I have to drop my jump spell on the outside wall just to make my troops go in. Otherwise, you know, and then all these bowlers end up going around. They would have went in if the siege machine had been, you know, there. And eventually what I had to do is just pop the siege machine right there. I had Valks inside and yeah, not good. I mean, I still got a two star in this attack, but if I had the siege machine, this probably could have been a three star. My troops would have been in the center of the base because the siege machine would have broke through these walls right here to get to the town hall. And yeah, just a bad attack. I mean, I don't know what that was. I mean, what was that? Why was it stuck there? Was it because of the flag? I think it might have been. That is just really weird stuff. So yeah, basically this attack is just not going too well. My queen's on the edge. Just taking out some buildings here. Not much to see, but yeah, that was a crazy glitch. Hopefully uh, Supercell does fix that soon because I just do not want that to happen again. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely going to give it a like down below. And also make sure you guys do go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not already for all the latest Clash of Clans updates, news, and leaks. And also turn on my post notifications for all my latest uploads. And yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.